Hey up photo pips and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode I want to talk about the Fuji X-T2 and the app and the way it's going to work and how it's going to aid you in your photographer. So let's get started. First things first we need to set up the X-T2 into its Wi-Fi mode. Now if you've not seen my video on the um, five things that can help you with your photography with the uh, Fuji system, check out the video here because this is going to help you assign a function button to your uh, connection button with your app. So just watch this then come back over because that is going to help you no end. So first things first we're going to get connected to the X-T2 via the app. So what we need to do is we need to put our X-T2 or our Fuji X system into Wi-Fi mode and I have selected the function button on the top which will then bring us into that mode. And now what I need to do is search for it on the app, on the iPhone or the um, Android system. So the first thing we need to do is open the app. And if you're out in the wild and there's, you're not already connected to a Wi-Fi facility, the, the app will automatically jump straight onto the X-T2 once you've programmed it in. So it's basically always searching for a Wi-Fi signal and if there's you're not already connected to one it will pick up the X-T2 and it will uh, find it. Other than that you're going to have to go into your settings and you're going to have to go into your Wi-Fi and then you're going to have to find it and there it is there and it will connect straight to it and then we'll go back and then we'll open the app. Now we're going to be in the camera app mode and I'm going to look for the remote control which is there and these are the other things you've got. Uh, you got so you can browse your camera and you're away so here we are now in the camera mode and we have all the functions that we would have if we was just using the camera as a touch screen uh, we can touch to focus and we can take the shot there it is we can view that shot we can look at it uh, it will basically go on anything F4 I believe is going to be the lowest that I can go to uh, but we can have a look see what we want to do with our aperture yeah F4 is the lowest for this lens which is the 10 to 24 lens uh, but yeah here we go look we can we can do exactly what we want so I've gone up to F8 and I'm just going to use this now as the shutter speed because I've selected that go down to what we want and then we just press the fire button there's the shot again I'm gonna uh, go back to my aperture I'm gonna go for a low aperture again back to f4 and uh, I'm gonna just get some focus he's going I mean look how quick it is it's so positive every time <laughs> There it is, just saving it now. If I want to view it, I press the play button. Now we're going into the camera's um, catalogue of images. Let's have a look at that last one. And then I can import the photo, but better still, I can zoom in. And that on the brown is where I had my focus. That's so good. That's it. That's the app. So you want to change your ISO, click the ISO button. There it is there, 1600, 500. Look at that, it's brilliant. Well, okay that. And you know, the best thing about this is I'm moving around, running around, I'm not touching anything. Nothing's being disturbed. Brilliant for portraits, brilliant for absolutely anything you want. And there it is. If we want to go to video mode, click video mode and we can just record that. Film simulations, it's going to keep that on standard. So you can basically do everything you need to do. Uh, I, let's just wipe that ISO up. Uh, went to 10,000, I'm going to go to, let's try 2,500. 3200, 
I think 4,000 is going to be nice for this room. Okay that. Remember we're recording. And now we're recording video. And there it goes. How bloody brilliant's that? I love it. So what you need to do is you need to get over to the other video, check it out, see how I've set up the function button so it can connect so easily and so quick to the app. When you're out in the field, you don't want to be all fingers and thumbs, you just want to press a single button. So another quick tip, on the front of the camera, there's the forgotten function button, which is this one just here. Not many people seem to realise that that is a function button, so if you don't, use that. But like I say, I like to use the function one button, which is right on the top, just in between the uh, compensation wheel and the shutter speed wheel. And uh, it's just at the back of the shutter release. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope this has helped you out. Let me know how you get on if you decide to use the app. It's absolutely fantastic. It's there for us to use so use it download it get it using get it working okay guys brilliant thank you for your time don't forget get out and shoot <laughs> you know you want to cheers guys